What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss J. Look, I'm getting ready to go to bed. Yes, I know. I look I look a mess, right? Uh, I was in the process of getting ready for bed while I was on the phone having this conversation with my friend. And um, I was going to wrap up my hair, but I was like, let me, let me do this little short video. I'm trying to make it short, okay? So my friend called me and was like, hey, I missed the... The clubhouse meeting today how was it and i'm like you six you like six seven hours late you know but it's okay the people who did come thank you <laughs> we decided we we're gonna do it over because it wasn't a lot of people there but we did have like a little small conversation and we was we was basically talking about how the world influences kids but ultimately because they are both educators as well the parents have to do their job as well so i was sharing some stories with them i was telling them some of the stuff now i work with birth to five okay let me repeat that again six weeks to five years old right and i was sharing some stories with them about some stuff that has happened with me in the past with some of these kids and i was basically saying kids tell what's going on in the home subconsciously and indirectly and it always surprises parents and i'm i don't never understand how right and so i was just giving them a lot of stories about it was you know one time uh this little girl i i gave this story on youtube so y'all need to go check it out on youtube a little girl was cussing out um the fake boyfriend on the phone right and i had to talk to mom about it another time a little boy was smacking down baby dolls out the chair while he was driving and he kept picking them up and like i'm sorry i'm sorry you know and, and i had to talk to the little boy about that and uh a little girl <laughs> rolling up fake blunts in the classroom, you know what I'm saying, and and trying to pass it. You know, it's the 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 blunt was a pencil. Okay, this this is what I mean by they teach us through play, but they they learn through play as well. So the blunt was a pencil. She uh, licking it, rolling it, whatever, and want to pass it to one of the classmates in the class. Okay. Uh, you know, another child cussing out teachers. Two, two years old. Can barely say the ABCs. Can barely tell you what the alphabet sound like. But saying stuff like, oh, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to have, I'll have my daddy whoop your ass. Okay? Yeah, I said it like that so you guys could hear it like that. Because it's that's how it was said, you know. And so I'm like, kids do this stuff like they really they really do and you as a teacher you know let me get this disclaimer everything a child say to me is kind of like funny at first but it also makes me mad but i also got to keep like a straight face when i'm disciplining them so it kind of throws you off in so many ways and you have to correct them and you you know most of the time when they get a little rowdy like that i gotta get up in their face and be like who you talking to right and then we have like a little we have like a little style for a little for a little while before they put their head down like uh no nobody yeah and then we have to have a conversation <laughs> about those words that they choosing or those actions that they're choosing to do so it, it was it was a good conversation ultimately what i'm trying to say is you have to be present in your child's life. Teaching ultimately starts at home. Children do as you do and not as you say. Well, they, they repeat what you say, right? But they're learning from your actions and what you're doing at home. And then we get to learn too what you're doing at home because they're going to play like that in school. So... If you, it is very important for you to mold your child and guide them in the right direction and in the right way, right? 
yes, there's going to be issues in the outside world. Yes, it's going to be some stuff that they come across in their life, right? Where you may not have introduced it to them, right? But a lot of the things that's being introduced to them is coming from home first, right? Now, I I got a lot of teacher friends on my page. Tell me y'all ain't experienced a child disrespecting you or saying something out of whack. I mean, I've I've experienced, I worked from kindergarten to uh, birth to eighth grade before, you know, and I've been disrespected in each age group, right? And the older they are, the harder it is to kind of, you know, not want to go, go there with a child. But at the end of the day, you still, me as a person, as their teacher, I ultimately want the best for them, right? And if you're their parent, you ultimately want the best for them as well. So you have to guide them in the right direction. And they are learning this stuff and they're thinking that this is okay. Because why? It is coming from home first. You are your child's first teacher. Not me. Not the p- political people out here. Not the entertainers. Not the basketball players. Not the football players. Not Pookie Ray Ray and them standing on the corner. None of that. You are. Right? And then the world is their second teacher. But what will influence their decisions come from home? So let me give y'all this tip, right? Okay, y'all ready? Whatever you doing tonight (laughs) will be shown if you have a child, especially from the ages of six weeks. Well, let let me not say six weeks. Six six weeks is a little too soon. Let's let's start with uh, one and a half, two years old on up, right? Especially if they're in childcare or they're learning young. Oh yes, we are going to know what you are doing and in introducing to your children at home because they're going to do it through play. So be careful what you do and be careful what you say. And check in next time on the next Clubhouse so y'all can get all this raw information. I'll talk to you guys later. Night-night.